We only focus on the negativity of these kids. We're only seeing them as a problem in our community. We only see them as the dirty kids that are you know, bothering our businesses and our community. Well, it's not really a fair assessment of what they've experienced, what their life has been. It's, it's pretty troubling, actually. This is a scene from a new documentary that shines a light on a serious and growing problem. Kids under the age of 18 who are homeless. It isn't a story from Chicago or another big city. It's happening right here in Madison. Homeless teens face a daunting challenge and no safety net. There's no shelter in Dane County dedicated to minors. The organization Make Room for Youth released the video that was produced by Will Nimmo of the Madison Media Institute. Melissa Sargent is a supervisor on the Dane County Board. She's working on this issue and she was elected to the State Assembly in November. Welcome, Welcome. to Live at Five. Thank nice you. to see you. Thank you. This is one of those problems that I think a lot of people uh, feel is not an issue in Madison, it, that it truly is an invisible problem. But how significant is it in our community? Um, well, it's such an issue in our community that we don't even have data. Um, we reached out to the school districts in Dane County and asked them to start collecting the numbers. And from the best that we can tell, there's about 120 unaccompanied and homeless youth in Dane County at this time. So think about how chilly it is out there yeah. um, tonight. These kids are on their own struggling um, to make the best. How are teens, they're especially vulnerable, I assume, because there's no, no real help for them. Right. So ultimately, the average age of the first time someone becomes homeless is about 14 and a half years old. Um, on an annual basis in Dane County, there's over 800 kids that are asked to leave by their family because of some sort of stress that happens in their lives. And there's about um, that same number, over 800 kids um, that run away for one reason or another, um, maybe not asked by their family. And most of them will end up coming home thanks to organizations like um, Youth Services of Southern Wisconsin. But it is an epidemic problem um, and it is disproportionately affecting um, LGBT kids as well as children of color. Well, let's hear uh, a piece of the documentary where these very brave kids actually go on camera and tell their stories of what they face every day. What set us all apart and made it a very different experience in high school was that we couldn't focus as much on academics. We had to really put our efforts into just making sure that we took care of ourselves. We didn't go to school every day because we didn't want the kids to realize they have on the same clothes. Largely they're dropping out of school, they're flunking out of school. Um, they're just struggling with the the day-to-day -day routine of being in school. Um, so if they show up, they're really not doing that well. School is just a place to eat, a free place to eat. That's what school became. So there's a real stigma associated with this, it seems. It's such a problem that um, these kids have a hard time talking about it. And that's why when I started out saying, um, we don't exactly know how many of these children there are, um, they are very slow to self-report. Um, and oftentimes teachers, the people who see them on a regular basis, aren't, gonna, aren't even gonna be able to tell. Um, they do a real good job trying to keep it under the radar. It's such a daunting problem. There's, there's limited money for social service agencies and, and organizations are overwhelmed with the need. So what can be done and what can the people that are watching this do? So there's a number of things that can be done and I'm hopeful that I can work on this at a state level. We need to change the number of days that kids can stay in shelter to get that crisis work done, um, to work with service providers to try and help reunite them with their families. Sometimes that's not accessi uh, an accessible option um, because it's just not safe for them to come home. We need housing for these kids. Some of these are statute changes. When we provide that housing, we also need to be able to provide them with the skills that they have not learned at home so they can be successful and not be, become a perpetual homeless person as they grow up. Up. There is a lot of work to do. Um, Make Room for Youth, otherwise known as Murphy, has a website. It's um, mrfy.org. Mm -hmm. And on that website, um, we have a list of things that we are accepting from people in the community, ranging from money um, to clothing for these kids, food cards, gas cards, um, cell phone cards, et cetera, um, so that they can help take care of their needs. We need professionals, folks that are um, dentists who might be able to help and doctors who might be able to help yeah, as well. It's a very, very powerful video, so t please take a look at it if you can. Thanks for being with us. Thank today. you. Good to see you. Keep Thank up you the very good work. much.